back to racism. See how, <laughs> see how depressing talking about racism can be. Yeah, it's a very depressing topic. I, I find it hard to believe that some certain people that I've met in my life will be racist. Hmm. Okay, you know, I find it hard to believe that sometimes people that I've worked with, that I've engaged with, will be engaged with in this kind of path, as in like being very discriminative in that way. And even though they might not see it, and then you call them out and say, seriously? Seriously. And you know, sometimes it can get very confrontational. Like, so what is this about? You want to you want to elaborate on this? And you know, I'm not that kind of person that be like, I sometimes like leave it off, not talk about it because I will. And you know, when I do feel wrong or feel like this is a little bit unfair, like what's going on, I do speak out and I do, but I'll go on a hard debate and hard talk with you like no, I have my own reason. You cannot say this. You cannot do this way. Yeah, I've gotten into an argument with some people before because of it's like, no, no, I, I, I know how this is. I know how this goes. Like, why are you doing this? It's usually like, why? Like, you care to elaborate that for me? Like, I really, really, I would really like to understand. And sometimes I do keep quiet, like, just let it go. But sometimes if I do have time, I'll go into it, like, for argument's sake, if I see that I'm wrong somewhere, I will call myself out, you know, to myself. But sometimes it, it, it doesn't warrant for someone to blatantly come to your face and be racist. And the last one that I want to talk about was in terms of relationship. I do not have anything against interracial relationships. No, God forbid, no. It's already hard on everyone out there, every kid, every human being, inter man, woman. It's already hard. So I do not have anything against interracial relationship. Like personally, I do not have. No, I don't. If people. If people are lucky enough to find someone that loves them, even if it's not from their immediate community, why not? Why not? And it will save a lot of headache for so many people. I know some people be like, because these people, this group of people have done this, then I cannot associate with them. And they go on to insert that understanding or that meaning to other people, other children, be like, don't do this. But you know what? Sometimes you find out that they are the one even practicing this. Like they do it so elaborate. But you be the one that go out to tell the other person not to find the joy of their life. But back behind, you'll be enjoying something like that. So, so, so I personally do not have anything against it. I don't. If you want, if you find someone to love you, I mean, can you imagine finding someone to love you for you, and you don't have to change yourself, and you don't have to change the way you are, you don't have to do anything to fit into their stereotype or to fit into this box they have created for the person that they want to love to be in. So, so if you're lucky enough to find someone. Like that like go for it because some sometimes you will look back and be like why have i delayed myself why have i not taken this chance if you live in the western society the the chances of a black girl meeting another or to have a relationship with is rare it can be really slim there maybe there is more proportion of black muslim or black male in United States than it is in Canada or than it is in Britain. Imagine that 
So, you mean you go to school? <laughs> you go to school, there's somebody like three black. <laughs> three black guys in the school anyway. So, imagine. Imagine living in that sort of environment. Imagine living in an environment where you, do, you don't always see people that looks like you. I, and, you know, kudos to you. The black immigrants women here, you have even like myself, kudos to us that we have been the most single, the most single thing ever. We have been the most single, the most single, singlest, the most sing, this single, singlest, singlest, the most single, that's not even correct, the singlest, the most single person or group ever is and then multiply that if you even if you are a muslim you cannot date and you're always like looking at your maybe your south asian friend or like your arabic friend you're getting married and you're like oh my goodness where are the black muslim guys and you cannot see them it's like oh wow well this is interesting because <laughs> you know you feel that it's like i'm just going to live my life i'm going to they say there is nothing wrong with marrying like later in life but kudos to those to every muslim black muslim single ladies out there it's like you left your country and like it's like your chances are more narrowed no honestly you have people that just want to take the advantage of you and you know i have to change the place that i was at because it's needed so i have to change the space but before i say goodbye i do want to complete my thoughts so kudos to every black muslim and single out there that is going through a lot and still pushing through you can always talk about what you felt or what you've been through man how valid it is i'm not the only person going through this so I know the flights. You see everybody else moving on in their life and you're this and you're just stuck for a number of years. When I realized this, I realized it's as soon as I would say as soon maybe I'm 15, 16 years old. I'm no longer with the group, with the black sisters and with the connectedness that I was so familiar with and it was so beautiful. When you are like in this environment, immediately you just realize that, oh, it's like I'm alone in here. But you're not alone. There are so many other people. But there is that distinct difference that is so elaborate and so loud. And you just wish that people wouldn't be too intimidated or that you wouldn't be too intimidated to go forward and present yourself and present yourself to the world and share with the world what you've experienced, what you've known. What you, what you believe in, and everything like that, and that is what I'm doing. And I hope that this message goes out, and it's and somebody gets inspired, and they start taking their taking care of themselves as early on in their life. And I'm still very young, but at the same time, I'm still old, dark or old, but I'm still young. So even as much as I can say, or I would like to say that I have my whole life still ahead of me but i still have so many things that i want to do that i want to accomplish and i, I hope that it goes through reason in terms of relationship i do not have anything against interracial relationship because if you find yourself in a new environment in the terms like how people can can use or misuse or take advantage of say girls or because they are wealthy or because they are in a better place now they want to take advantage of them that by just using them to get a green card or get a blue card or any other card that's not fair because you have this person this woman that has set up the whole world in front of her and like inviting another person to come in and join them and work through life with them but poof they they use them you have that 
and so many people have come out and be like, oh, you know, if black women can start dating out of their ways, because you know, you have like the black men, there's that, that, they're doing this, they're doing that, and everything. But do what's convenient for you, do what you like, do what you love, and most importantly, check with it, within yourself and if it's what's for you. And if it's for you, you can say that it's not. The only person that I can say that, or the only one that I can say that is God, Allah. And if it's the one for you, if going another way is what will bring you joy, or what will fulfill your dream, or what you will fulfill your deen, as in like your religion, you complete your your religion or your deen by getting married. So why not? Why not? You don't have to wait forever to have love. You don't have to wait forever to be loved or to get married or this or that. As a Muslim, you can be like you, you can be forward to forward like oh, I don't want this. I want to go ahead and like even though it's commendable and it's commending to go forward and be like you know I'm going to go to this person who is not my face, who is not from my immediate community and be like I like them. Let's go and let's do this together. Blah blah. blah. Even though like we can get shy and we will not step forward. Maybe if you that send someone else, like that person that sent someone else to me to get their message across, maybe you can send someone else. Or maybe you can do it yourself. Or if you have so many sisters that can help you out with it, you can go. But that's my own thing. I want to say that you don't have to wait forever to be loved and to have loved and to complete your dream or your religion, that you can have it when your peers and your friends are also having it. Because sometimes, honestly, it's not about like the, the girl or the black girl not wanting to have it all. It's like the time, it's the environment, it's this. But we can't take the negative, negative energy out. And go forward like honestly sometimes it's not about it it's about the environment itself it's about people you now people coming to you and some people blatantly coming to you that you cannot go and marry this or that because you have to stick with it within the community and you know when it comes to the guys or the boys they don't do that or they seldom they do but they don't they wouldn't do that but when it comes together, no, I can't be happy. I can't choose what will determine or what will dictate or what will define the rest of my life. Like, I have to have a say in my happiness or in, like, completing my dream. Like, imagine marriage or having been in a relationship. It's no joke. It's not a joke. You have to be fully there. You have to be fully committed and committing to take this next step forward. I was telling my sister that you don't have to wait forever. You can you can put yourself out there. Like it's not like you're putting yourself out there like, oh yeah, I'm available. No, of course not. You can be volunteering, you can be doing some community work or teaching or being a lecturer or this. You you know you go about your ways. But you put yourself in a place where people can see you. You can be like, yes. And it's not like you are being desperate or anything. If you're doing something, it's called being altruistic. Yeah. I don't know if you want to say egoistic, altruistic, but really, it's actually altruism. You're doing something good for the others in terms that one day this. The benefits will come to you and pray to you. So kudos to us out there for doing it in a way or the other. I mean, we we have our own setbacks and we have our own challenges, but still we push through. And I think that's, that's commendable. We push it through despite all the negative that we heard and get, we are pushing through. And that is what this is about we push through with every hardship come peace with every hardship come peace 
and God will inform you what you cannot handle. So, kudos and if people, and I know like if you put the parents involved or like they think, oh, you can't marry this, you can't do this, you can't, but again, pray and hopefully that they understand it that, you know, do you really want to go into, I don't know, the country that you're from? Like, imagine the amount of money that you have to invest to so go home and get married. When, if you try, and if you really try, you might be able to get something here and just live your good and easy life without having to go in debt. But if it doesn't work out, of course. You can, I mean, be open. Look everywhere, look somewhere, look everywhere. Like, really, I went to high school and I could really tell you, maybe there are four black guys on there. And it's not, it, it's not that it's bad. I mean, like, there are probably like two girls, two black girls too. So, yeah, so that's the reality of it all. But again, be diligent, work hard, and put God first and have a so true and honestly this is the end of my talking today but yes i hope that you have benefited here and there i won't say for black girls well, not, not for all black girls but, but for many girls that are struggling to be in a relationship like you do not have to wait a long time to have love you can have love right now and i know you love yourself Yes, the only person that gets up, I, I get that. In terms of moving on in life, I've loved myself for how many years now? And I'm okay with that. But moving on in life, you can have love in another way. In many ways, that wouldn't break your back. And that wouldn't hurt you. And that is beautiful as well. It's my opinion, it's no, not everybody will see eye to eye, but it's my opinion, so anyway, assalamu alaikum, jazakalaira, for listening through, thank you, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and bye. And again, it's an opinion, and I think it's... It will he really help if like family and parents can encourage their children to even look into another um, community to find spouse or partner wouldn't that be like a it would be like a step a step forward because I've heard it a lot no way you cannot go and marry some other some into the another society or community which is not right but again unless you want to break the bank you know i mean you can't control emotion anyway honestly you cannot control emotion people are going to love whoever they want no matter what anyone might do against it people are still going to love whoever they want it's so interesting. It's another interesting topic. And you know, we still see people that are even still against it these days. Like, why? It's just two people coming together. Or if you want to see the larger scale, two families coming together. And for someone to actually find someone like that that loves them in that sense, can you imagine? When like so many millions of people are still out there and they cannot find anyone and now you have someone that has found something and people are against it. It's like really who say that, oh that's my opinion, that's my opinion. Just to not be called out for like if they are wrong or something. But can you say can you say that okay? Can you say that this is a comb, but that's my opinion? It's like, come on, you know that it's true. You know that so what you said is true, but you still want to say, oh, this is a good, but that's my opinion. Imagine, just so people don't want to like get in trouble 
I mean, I get the meaning, but for me, I see people fall in love in different ways, and I'm like, good. Looking at outside, I feel like, oh, wow. I pray for something like that, too. So, for somebody that haven't had any, and to be against something, I know it's like, you know, it's like you're delaying your blessing, as they would say. So, thank you. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.